All right, what do you say we have a look at the NECA? Planet of the Apes 8-inch Retro Cloth, Colonel George Taylor. From what I'm seeing, has a fantastic likeness of Charlton Heston there. And on the back, you can see it says it includes a backpack accessory. And open the backpack to reveal its contents. We intend to do that. So yeah. By the way, this is something new I'm trying out. I'm going to try to get close-ups here. So we'll have to see how that works. This is, uh... Let me get my cheaters on. I want to read this. It says, A cynical astronaut desperate to believe that somewhere in the universe there are civilizations far superior to the warlike bickering human race. After sleeping in suspended animation for thousands of years, thousands, George Taylor and his crew awaken when their spacecraft crashes on a strange planet. They attempt to communicate with the humanoid locals but are captured by armed gorillas on horseback. Not gorillas and guerrilla warfare. Real gorillas. If you haven't. So, spoiler alert. Rendered mute by a stray bullet, Taylor can only watch in shock and horror as he is taken back to the ape city. Yeah, so, what do you say? We get this open and have a closer look. Yeah, so as you can see, hopefully my focus doesn't go jibber-jabber because I'm all over the place. You can see that likeness there. Look at that likeness. Just so you know, it may be an 8-inch figure and it may have clothes, but this is by no means equivalent to a Mego toy. A package that says 14 and uh, ages 14 years and up. Yeah, because you're not, and this is a very heavy figure. Yeah, typical of a NECA style figure, very heavy. The plastics are harder. The sculpts are, as you can see, pretty fantastic right there. I'm, I'm looking, I, I know I could be looking up there, but now I'd rather be looking at the figure here. And uh, that's pretty wicked. Let me switch this around here. Ah, we're getting tricky there, aren't we? I think, I think this camera's going to have, yeah. Look at that. Look at that resemblance. Get your damn filthy paws off me, you dirty ape. I think that's how the line goes. So yeah, let's just go to one camera right now. Let's have a look at his uh, articulation. He's got a soft ball joint in his head. Um, I don't know. You don't get much movement on it. I would be very careful. With these NECAs, you really want to warm all of those joints. Get some uh, got a bicep cut I can... See that? By the way, his clothes feel like a bathrobe. That's what they feel like. And it says NASA. I don't know if you guys are seeing that correct. Does it say NASA? Cheater time. Where are you? I gotta see. No, it says ANSA. So yeah. You see these legs? If you move one leg, they're both moving. If that's anything like the DC collectibles, that's going to be a problem. So yeah, you get motion forward like so. As far back as that, you can get leg kick out like Jim Cotta. Uh, single joint in the knee. A, uh, let's see where that pivot is at. That pivot goes all the way up. That's not unlike a Mego. And, of course, you have a hinge at the boot. Let 
the uh, clothes feel very cheap. I'm not exactly sure what to equate those clothes to, but it's familiar. Almost so familiar to me that, uh, we're going to take his backpack off, that uh, it reminds me of something cheap. Some cheap toys when I was a kid. And uh, we're going to take this off so we can really manhandle this figure. And then so we can also look inside the backpack. But we'll leave that for last. Oh, you know what? Here I go again. So he's uh, got his karate belt. Let's see what else. He's got Velcro holding up his jumpsuit. Yeah, they, they must have fought to get these clothes on here. Yeah, so he's got separate pants. I, I need to know how this body is put together. You know, that's me. You got to do a review, right? So uh, let me get these clothes off and I'll be right back. All right. I couldn't get his pants all the way off. I know it looks a little weird him standing there with his pants around his ankles. But it seems that they slid the pants on. Then they went ahead and applied the boots. And I really don't want to start tearing his feet off to get the pants off. So let's have a closer look at the body. The body has a great sculpt that looks actually looks like a male human. So you have a pivot in the waist here. No, no rotation, no ball joint. Just a pin. And let's see, we have movement in this arm here. Cut it to bicep. Uh single joint elbow pin and a hinge in the wrist stubborn hinge but there it is and now we can actually have a look at his head and we've already know what the legs can do still this is an oddity to me you move one leg and they both move so it has probably has a pin that goes through and you have these hinges here and they write on that that's my guess. So yeah. I must say though, that likeness is pretty fantastic. It really is. He's a heavy figure, a very solid figure. If you guys are feeling uncomfortable because his pants are off, it's all right. I come from a big family. Five brothers, so naked men don't do anything for me. But I will put his clothes back on. His clothes, like I said, feel very cheap. Almost like a very thin fleece. You know, so, again, it's a figure that's not to be played with, let's be honest. It, 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 that's the irony right there, you know. $13 figures can be played with. $30 figures should not be. Weird, right? Let me get his drawers back up. And he actually looks like he's wearing pajamas. But yeah. And just so you know, I usually am very pleased with NECA joints. But some of his joints are just kind of crap, you know, like, uh, that's very loose right there. I mean, he stands well, regardless. So let's put his, uh, sash back on here. So, yeah, this is not something that you would actually want to put into your Mego collection. Just full disclosure, this is my first one. And uh, judging from what I'm seeing, it will be my last. I didn't pay retail for this. 
I uh, got this at a used toy store from my friend Dave for 20 bucks. I know the regular price on these bring to anywhere from 27 to 32 dollars. So I don't know what this thing actually costs new, but um, you know there it is. So let's have a look at his backpack. Well, let's set him up here. See if we can get this. Uh, he's not he's not being shown here, dude. You're not even in frame. Get out! Hey, he's not in frame at all. I need him in frame. All right. So let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at what's inside the backpack. I don't know if there's a way to open this. There's a hinge there. Okay, there. Oh, now, see, I thought from the picture on the, the card art, I thought that was a sticker is what that looked like to me. But those are actual individual accessories. There you are. That sit down in that preformed backpack. Now, that's a huge bonus. And so far, I think that's the best thing about this figure and of course the face sculpt but I, I don't think I would pursue any more of these figures you know when you when you start to examine a figure like this and obviously they went above and beyond what Mego or figures toy company want to um, offer you they still were in the mindset of fine sculpt like the Predators that they make and the Godzillas and the Freddies maybe there's room for a mixed medium like that but not on an 8 inch figure I think the 8 inch figure belongs to a toy market not a collectible market that's just me it looks good it really does. Clothes feel cheap. And uh, let's face it. It's not a toy. And you think 8 inch. Cloth garmented toys. You figure. There you go. Give it to a kid to play with. You're not going to give this to a kid and play with it. It's just not. It's, I mean yeah it's a solid figure. But it's not going to hold up under the abuse. You can just tell when you have a figure in your hand. It's not going to take a beating. Or it's going to take a beating. Again, looks good, but would I go out and buy more of these? I don't think so. I've seen this one. You know what? It's very anticlimactic, actually. You know, you're excited to see something, and then you actually get it in your hand. And, you know, I love the Planet of the Apes. I like Charlton Heston. You know, the Omega Man and... Of course, Colonel George Taylor, and God only knows what else he was in. Oh, Ben-Hur, and Moses. So yeah, there's a lot to like about the actor. And it is a great sculpt, it really is. But as far as a toy, I don't know if it makes it as a toy, or even a collectible. Maybe if you had some uh, apes to go with it, you know. Let's see if you can get a good look at that head there. Very good likeness. Yeah. And the backpack is a big bonus. I hate to say this, you know. But I think the card art is the most exciting part about this figure. Really. I mean, they were even going for Amigo-style card art. I get it, you know. But this is not it. I've seen enough. So, yeah. That's been my review of the 2014 NECA Planet of the Apes Colonel George Taylor 8-inch retro cloth figure. I don't know what about.